everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to Tuesday craft day well today we're going to take a little trip we haven't been anywhere in a long time so I thought I'd take a trip to Louisville Kentucky no actually my wreath is going to be about Louisville Kentucky um, and I found out not knowing a whole lot about it before that there is a big difference between the Louisville teams and Kentucky teams. And my, one of Bob's golf buddies is an avid fan of Louisville football. So Bob asked me if I could put together a wreath for Louisville. And I said, sure, I don't mind at all making wreaths and just giving them to people. Heaven knows I don't have a place to hold a lot of them anymore. So I looked online and I was able to find this sign, Louisville Cardinals. It's a cute sign, I will tell you. They're made to look old and scraped up and so on and so forth. It's a cute sign, but the corners of this sign are very, very sharp. So I'm going to put it on the wreath today, but I may have Bob um, file them down a little bit with a metal file. I hate to see somebody get cut on one of my wreaths. <laughs> so anyway, then I have some, no, the colors, I'm sorry, the colors of Louisville are black, red, gray, and just a little bit of white. So I have these ribbons today. I have a black stripe. Well, let me show you down at the table because I've got them all down there and then you can see what it is that we're going to be using and I'm sorry I wasn't looking at the camera I was looking at me and I don't want to look at me <laughs> heaven's sakes um, you, if you hear some noise in the background there's a great big I don't know what you call them it's not really I, maybe it's a caterpillar um, and I don't mean the kind with a bunch of legs <laughs> I mean a great big piece of heavy equipment. Evidently a house two doors down from me has some kind of water leak and so they're going to be working out here. So if you hear engines and so on and so forth, that's what it is. But let me put you down to the counter and we'll show you what we're going to use to make a Louisville wreath. Right back. Alrighty, to start with we're going to be using this frame from craft outlet in black and we just get the and this is the pencil tie frame meaning that these ties aren't as soft and puffy as some of the other ones I prefer the other ones but um, they didn't have any in any of the colors that I would have used so We'll use this one. Just opening up the bottom. Okay, the ribbons. I have a black and white stripe with a red and black stripe. And I have a black sort of a plaid with a solid gray black and red I'm sorry plaid so those are the two sets of four ribbons that we'll be using we'll get those off to the side I'm going to be using a plain red mesh for the base of the wreath and I'm going to be using this black and red striped mesh for some ruffles. So let's get busy and make a wreath for Louisville. Gather it up. 
and I'm going to put it just before this tie. I'm going to go around with a zip tie. Okay. And I'm going to be doing poofs. 10 inch poofs. Raw edges down at the bottom. Anyway, I hope he gets to see Louisville play at some point in time this year. It's hard to tell. The golf is starting up again this Thursday, so that'll be pleasant. My husband loves to watch sports, and of course, like a lot of people do, and it's amazing that you don't realize how much you watched until it's not there anymore. And this is the same, uh, this is a, a 15 inch frame, what they call a 1524. Pull it out, bring it back, tie it down. is a fairly quick method to get around. You can see I'm already back to the beginning. And now I'm going to do the one that I didn't start with. All right, now I need another zip tie. And we're going to go up top and do the same thing. I'm coming up top. And I'm going to go right before 
one of these ties nice and tight and I'm going to zip tie it to the frame I had it right and I flipped it and pull it tight and I'm going to skip this one but first I'm going to go around and open these all like I did the bottom okay If your loops are not quite the same size, that's fine. It's not going to make a big difference. I'm not measuring today. I'm eyeballing it. But I've done enough of them that I'm pretty secure in knowing how big a 10-inch loop is. These frames have 10 on the bottom, 8 on the top. And it's just quick and easy to go around and pull them out and kind of you want to make them kind of fit in with the ones on the bottom Just like that, I'm back to the beginning. So now I'm going to leave myself about no, six inches. And cut it off. And I'll get another zip tie. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go down underneath. We are having some major heat. Last week we had major rain. This week we have major heat. And a lot of it still has to do with dear Cristobal. He put a lot of humidity into the air. So even though the temperature 
gets up to a mere 90 to 92, the heat index is 100 to 106. So there you go. So here you go. All right, let me get my ruffle material and we'll start making some ruffles right back. Okay, let's make some ruffles and ribbons. <laughs> now this is a loosely woven mesh, so it will ravel, but we're going to try to not handle it any more than we have to. And we're going to be alternating the rhythm ribbon, ribbons. And I'm kind of making the ones on the bottom, I think, are going to kind of aim to the outside. What I'm doing with my ruffles is just folding under the raw edge a little bit and that will keep my raveling to a minimum I hope See what we can get here. Okay, see, I'm rolling on under. And then I will ruff, ruffle it. And when I get to the end, I'm leaving a little bit of it still rolled under. And you see I have a couple of little pieces here, we'll just cut them off. So, There's not much tie here to use for these ribbons, but there's enough. And we'll just have to go round and round on them.
These are 20 inch ruffles. And with one roll of 10 yard mesh, you get 18 20 inch ruffles. All right, I'll do a couple more and then I will finish the bottom and meet you back at the top. Pinch it, give it a little shape, and put it in. All right. I'm going to continue going around and I'll meet you when I get done at the bottom and we start on the top. Be right back. Okay, the bottom is done. Please excuse the roar. I have a fan blowing on me. It's the only way I could finish this down here. It is so hot. Turning under both ends to try to cut down on the raveling. Making my little shape here. Now the top ones I can, I'm trying to spread out a little bit. More like a star. Okay, let's see next. The 
Well, there are two. Well, there's more and more things opening up. And there's not more and more things that I'm going to, but there's more and more things opening up. I have to actually go out this afternoon just down to our country club deck, which is a very nice deck overlooking the lake. And we're celebrating someone that got a hole in one. In the state of Florida, we have, uh, I think it's groups of 50 or less, but I still plan to keep my six feet. Because it doesn't make any difference if you have five or 50, if you're not paying attention to the good social distancing. I gotta get up. Hold on. <laughs> I tried to do this on the stool so I could sit down because my back was bothering me, but I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's better. Ribbons are pretty. This is coming out nice and full. Let's see, I caught right on the end of that. I'll see if I can fix that. to get those tucked under. This is really, really ravelly mesh. Pretty. I think it ravels worse than the poly burlap. But that's usually the case with mesh that it's loosely woven. Pinching. 
getting towards the end, folks. For those of you who didn't already fast forward. Two more. There we go. Ribbon, I dropped a ribbon. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to see what I can do about this sign. Uh, I think I may go inside to put the sign on. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I'm up inside now. Gave up the ghost out there. <laughs> Holy moly, it was what? So I thought, let's go whole hog on this one and put a great big bow on it too. So I'm going to start with this striped, red striped ribbon. Oh, and I don't have my sharp scissors. One second. Hold the fire. They look so much alike I grabbed the wrong ones. If I can make that a little cleaner. That's better. So let's start with about maybe an eight inch tail. I'm going down and I'm going to get a bunch of this off of here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to twist. I'm going to come out to six inches. Put my finger there. I'm going to go in and twist. I'm going to go out to six inches on this side. Put my finger there. Come in and twist. I think I'm going to do four of these. I think I have enough ribbon. 
So this time I'm just going to go out to the same as the one before, come in and twist. This ribbon is hard to twist. Come out, come in, and twist. Come out, come in, and twist. Come out to the same place, come in, and twist, get three, this is four, come out, and twist, Come out, and I'm not twisting now on that one because I'm going to bring it around and cut it off. Ah, picked up the wrong ones. Okay, now let's try the gray. I think I'm going to do four, three, two. So we'll do it gray. And I'm just going to kind of spread these out. Come out to the same distance, come back and twist. Come out, come back and twist. Come out. Come back and twist. Come out and back. Twist. out, come back, and twist, and this ribbon is considerably lighter. And bring it down and cut it off. Now I'm going to use the gray and black stripe. I like that one for the top. Just two of these. And 
and I'm making it a little bit shorter than the other ones. Not much. Right. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll just put a little circle with this one. We come around here. See how that works out. This will be like the center of the ribbon. All right, so now I've got to get out a zip tie, and I don't have this package open. And these ribbons out of the way. I'm going to go down underneath the whole thing. And I'm staying on the side where the two tails are. enough to pull it up and get a little tight Now, Donna, you did bring a pipe cleaner. Do you know what you did with it? Okay, I just threw it on the floor. Nothing special. I'm going to put that in the back here before I tighten this down. And now I'm going to tighten it as tight as I can. And I didn't bring my cutter up, but I can do it with the scissors. Now let's see what we've got here.
You really can't see me, so I'll be back and show you what it's like when I get it up on the door. Well, there she is, and good heavens, that is a piece of work, isn't it? Look at that sucker. I hope the Cardinals win with all of that. It really looks nice. I love it. And I think Scott will love it too. I'll give you a little close up of the Cardinal sign. And the big bow. And you can see the dimension. It's really, really big. All right. Let's cheer the team on, whoever they are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll see you again on Friday. We'll come out and play again. Until then, thanks for everybody who's subscribing. I get a couple of new subscribers just the other day. I so do enjoy having you stop by. <clears throat> and for my old faithfuls, you, sound, you can hear me. I sound a little hoarse. And you know the reason for that? Dehydrated. I need to go get something to drink. Preferably water. <laughs> but anyway, um, I w I'm glad you all stopped by. I will see you again Friday. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, play by the rules, and everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.